Hey students, I'm going to show you how to play Splash Learn. I'm going to show you how to log in and then the different games that you can play. Before you watch the rest of this video, you need to have two pieces of information. Number one, you need to know your teacher's class code. And number two, you need to know your password. Okay, so once you have those two pieces of information, this is what you need to do. Grab a computer and go to SplashLearn.com. SplashLearn.com. Then, in the top right corner over here, it says sign in. That's what you're going to click on. You're going to click on the button that says sign in. It asks you where are you playing. You're going to always hit class. Even if you're at home, just hit class. And then you need to enter your class code. Okay? Your class code will be different than my class code, so make sure you do your class code, not my class code. Once you've typed in your class code, you need to go find your name. Okay, my name is Lauren, so I'm going to click on Lauren. Okay, you find your name and click on your name. And then you need to type in your password. If you know what your password is, you'll type it in right there. This is my password, but make sure you're using your password. And then hit sign in. Then it will take you to a place that looks like this. Okay, this is Splash Learn. There are two different things that you can do in Splash Learn. Let me explain what those are. Number one, your teacher can assign you different lessons. Um, so if you go to assignments, my teacher has assigned me all of these lessons. So maybe I want to multiply by two. My teacher said, I assigned you a lesson called multiply by two, go do that. So I will log in and then I'll click multiply by two, I'll click the start button. And it will take me to something that looks like this. Once it's finished loading, I will get to do an assignment. I will get to do an assignment where I'm multiplying by two. So find the product. Two times five is 10. I'll click on that. And if I get it right, I'll get coins. Okay. So you'll continue going and this will, you'll start seeing it will be turned green and it will go all the way up until you get all three stars. Then you're done with the lesson. Okay. You can see it's going up. Find the product. So you'll keep going. Okay. I'm going to log out of that for now, but I can always come back to it. See, it shows my progress. I've made a little bit of progress and I can always come back to it. So this, it, these are assignments or curriculum that your teacher will assign to you. That is where you'll find it. It'll say from my teacher and it'll show up right there when you log in. That's the first thing you can do. The second thing you can do is over here on the, on the right side, it says practice math facts. That's what I'm going to show you what to do next, how to do next. Okay. So you are going to practice your math facts. This will deter, it will depend on what math fact you're specifically working on. If you're working on addition, then you'll choose, oh, I wanna do addition. So you'll make that purple and you'll make everything else white. Whatever is purple is what you are going to be doing. So if you want addition and you want all the numbers, then all the numbers need to be purple and addition needs to be purple. I'm learning multiplication, so I'm going to click multiplication and I want all the numbers, so all the numbers are purple. If I haven't learned my 12s or 11s yet, maybe I can do that, so that it's just one through 10, okay? But I know all of mine, so I'm gonna click all of them. And then you get to choose the number of questions that you want. If you want 100 questions, you can go all the way up to 100 questions, okay? I'm just gonna stick with 10. Um, the next thing you need to choose, do you want choices? So it's like multiple choice. Or do you want a keypad so that you have to type in the number? Okay, so if it says three times three, you can have you will have to type in nine if you choose keypad, or it'll give you four answer choices if you choose choices, and then you'll just click on the one that says nine. Okay, up to you. But your teacher might give you specific direction. Your teacher might want you to do keypad some of the days and maybe choices other days. So listen to what your teacher says. Um, for timer, you can choose to have no timer. You can turn it off. Or you can do elapsed time, just means it will count up. Or you can have it count down, okay? I'm gonna have it count down and I want to see if I can do 10 questions in 30 seconds, okay? So I'm gonna hit start. And then once it's finished loading, it will show me the questions that I need to solve. So three times one, I click three and hit okay. And then 14, okay. Okay, I'll get coins every single time I get it right. And there is a place where you can go buy different things with the coins that you have earned. Okay, I want to show you what it looks like when you finish. So I'll finish this real quick. If you know your multiplication facts, check my work. See if I'm doing it right. 
I'm going to get this next one incorrect. Five times five, let's say I say 20. Oh, it'll tell me that it's wrong, but it'll move on to the next. Okay, so I didn't have enough time to finish. So I missed five times five, I put 20. It says the real answer is 25. So it's nice that it tells me what the real answer is. So next time I get five times five, I should get it right. And then I didn't have time to answer this one, right? I put nothing for the answer, the time ran out, but the real answer is zero, okay? So I can hit play again if I want to play again, or I can click out of it at the top and I can go back and say, you know what, I don't wanna do multiplication anymore, I just wanna do division. And then you can and fill in all of the options to figure out what you want to play, okay? And then again, you'll just go down to the bottom to hit start. That is how you do math fact practice. When you, the very first time you'll have to probably click all of these buttons to make them purple, but once you log in as you the second time, it will save what you did before. So if you're mostly going to just be working on multiplication, it will stay like this. So next time you log in, you won't have to click all the buttons. Okay. So that is how you play math fact practice on Splash Learn. Okay. I hope that you learn your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division facts with this website. Good luck and have fun.